Hi everyone. All right, in this demo, we are going to sew together the basic dress. So we've already cut everything out and we've marked it. Now we just need to sew it all together. All right, we're gonna start with the uh, skirt. So let's put all this aside. And here's our skirt. We have our front and our backs. And let's go ahead and start putting it together. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and remove our pattern from what we're gonna sew. And we're gonna go to the machine and we're gonna stay stitch our waists, our front and back waists. Um, now the reason we're stay stitching here is because the waist is cut through, you know, it has a little bit of curvature here, so it's cutting through some of the bias and we don't want the stretch, not the stretch, all right? So we always like to stay stitch our waistlines our neck lines and our armholes, because th those areas have a lot of potential to stretch, all right? Um, and we'll just stay stitch it with our regular construction stitch, which is typically eight to nine stitches per inch. And um, we'll, uh, and we'll just stay stitch it at the half inch seam allowance, okay? So, we're gonna do that, but before we go to stay stitch is we're gonna mark our darts on the back, and we'll do that on the front and the back. So this front skirt, this is the wrong side of it. This is the right side of it, the side that has all the markings, so our hip line and center front, the side will be facing out. And we're just gonna mark the dart leg that we're gonna see when we sew our darts. So whenever we sew darts, our darts are made up of um, they have the two dart legs, dart tip, center fold line, and our dart opening. Okay, so when we go to sew our darts, we put right sides together. So we fold out our dart right side together, bringing dart leg notch. So that's one dart leg, and this is my other dart leg notch. So we bring those two dart, dart leg notches together. That puts our center fold notch right at the top. And then you, where the crease is, you can follow that crease down and you have your dart tip, okay? And then you just stitch right down, like so. From the dart opening, you always stitch, whenever you sew dart, you always stitch from the opening down to the dart tip, okay? So, when these darts are folded out, I'll mark this one, you can see the two. So here's a dart leg, here's another dart leg, and here's the center fold line notch, okay? So those are our two dart leg notches and our center fold notch. All right, again, this is the right side, that's the wrong side. So when I fold this together to go ahead and sew my dart, I'm only gonna see one of those dart legs, basically, okay? So when we go to mark our dart to sew it, we only mark the dart leg, which gives us a guide of how to sew that dart, it gives us a line to follow. We only mark the side that we'll see when it's facing up, when we're sewing it, okay? So remember, when we fold this out again, here's my dart tip. Okay, this will be my dart seam allowance here. Okay, that will be facing in towards the inside of the machine. Our, our seam allowance always faces towards the inside of the machine. So again, this is the only side we'll see when we're sewing it. So I'm gonna mark the dart leg, a dart leg on each of these darts. It will be the dart leg that's facing up when I'm sewing. This is just a muslin, it's a rough draft. Basically to check our patterns. So it's fine just to mark it right on your muslin. If I was doing fashion fabric, I'd be using chalk or I'd baste it in or find some other way. You may not even need to mark your darts. Some people can just easily sew a straight line a short distance from the dart leg to the, knot, or to the, dart, to the dart tip without marking it. But in this case, for accuracy on our muslin, we're gonna mark all those darts, okay? So again, I've marked only the dart leg that I'll see when I'm stitching this once the dart is all folded out. I'm going to go ahead and do that to the back too. So there's the front. Let's put that aside for a second. Let's take our backs. Now if you need a reminder of how to cut everything out and how to sew it, you'll see a link below. Um, there's links below to this whole dress from, um, from laying out the fabric laying the patterns on fabric, cutting out, and then marking all dart tips, and then the body balance lines. Okay, so this is our back. We have, make sure on your back, you have a right and left side. Okay, 
So this is center back on this one. This is center back on this one. Side seam, side seam. All right, right side, right side. So I have a left and right side. I see a lot of people when they go to sew and they have, they're using a fabric that's the same on both sides or a muslin, they end up with two right sides or two left sides. If you've marked everything correctly, meaning your dart tips on the wrong side, then you should have a left and right side and it shouldn't be too hard um, to get it straight. But if you're worried about it, you can always write a W on the wrong side of your muslin. To remind you that's the wrong side. And that will help you keep your left and right sides um, in order. All right, so I'm gonna mark the dart legs on each of these. This way, when I finish stay stitching, I can go right into sewing my darts quickly and not have to spend a lot of time coming back to mark it. That one, and now we'll do this one too. Okay. All right, this is all marked. Here's my backs. Put patterns aside for now. And here's our fronts, or our front. Okay, so let's go to the sewing machine and we'll stay stitch our waist and then sew our darts and then we can sew the garment together. Okay, we're at the machine now. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to stay stitch our waist. We're gonna take our front first. It doesn't really matter what order you go in. You could stitch your backs first, the waistline of your backs first, um, if you want to. And we're going to stitch right at what our seam allowance is. In this case, our seam allowance is a half inch, so that's what we'll stitch at. And then we're just going to use a normal construction stitch as well when we do it. Here we go. Okay, so we just stay stitched the front. Let's go ahead and grab our backs and stay stitched those waists as well. There we are. So I've stay stitched all the waists. I want to stay stitch right now and that is the center backs all right the reason we're stay stitching our center backs is because we want to mark where center back is because center back is going to be open from the hip line down all right um, the reason it's left open is so that we can get it on the dress form or the client or whoever we're going to fit this to okay so here um I'll put this so you can see it all right so right here, you can see, here's my waistline. Here's my hip line, okay? This is center back right here. I have an inch seam allowance at center back. So I'm gonna stay stitch this back um, skirt panel and I'll do the other one too. Starting at the waistline, I'm gonna stitch down at an inch and I'll stop about an inch or two below the hip line, okay? Because when this skirt is sewn shut, we're just gonna sew from the hip line down. So we don't need to stay stitch all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so the center backs of our skirts, we're gonna stay stitch again at an inch from the waist to about two inches below the hip line. Here we go. There we go. And you notice I'm just eyeing it below the hip line. I'm not marking it or anything. Okay. One and now I'll stay stitch my other skirt. Again, one inch at center back. Okay. 
and there we go. So now both my back skirts have been stay stitched at center back. And I started at the waist and went about one inch to two inches below the hip line. All right, so now we can start sewing our darts. I'm gonna start on my front. Okay, to sew these darts, what we're gonna do is again, we're going to find the dart we're gonna sew. So here it is. This is the dart I'm gonna sew right here. Okay, it has three notches at the opening, two dart leg notches in your center fold line, and then down here we have our dart tip. This is the right side of my fabric, and this is the wrong side of the fabric, the side I marked the dart on. I'm going to take those two outside notches, and I'm going to fold them together, bringing the right sides of the fabric together. Okay, so I folded it together. There's my notch, notches for my dart legs, one right there, and the other one's right here. And this is the inside, or the right side of my fabric. And then I'm gonna come down here and find the dart tip. Okay, I have a crease coming down. So this, is, this, lot, this notch right here is my center notch. Okay, and I'm gonna have, have a crease coming right down. And I wanna make sure that my dart tip is right on that crease. So if it's not perfectly on that crease, just roll it up so it's there. All right. And now I've folded my dart tip and it's ready to sew. I like to just kind of crease it against the table edge like so sometimes. And now I can go ahead and stitch this. I'm going to back tack at the top of this to lock it in because this is we want this to permanently stay there. And then I'm going to stitch right down to the tip. We always start by stitching from the top, the opening to the tip. We never start at the tip and go up. Okay. Now, one thing we could do, you could just back tack here at the tip, but that can leave um, a dimple, cause a dimple to stay here once you've done it because you added like bulkiness because of that um, extra thread. So what I like to do is just shorten my stitch length about a half inch before my dart tip and then I'll just stitch off. So here we go. That's what I'm going to do. Back tack at the top. And I'm about a half inch, quarter inch away from the dart tip. I'm going to shrink my stitches down, nice and small, and just stitch right off at the tip of the dart. And there we go. Okay. So shrinking down my stitches real small, it's almost like back tacking, they're not going to come out. And then I stitched for about a half inch to an inch after that, and it basically coils the thread around itself and locks it in, okay? And that will give you a nicer, cleaner dart tip when you do that. All right, let's go ahead and do all the rest of the darts. So again, I'm going to bring my two dart leg notches. I'm going to fold them together, bringing right sides together. And then I'll come down, find that dart tip, make sure that's right on the crease of the fold. There we go, there's my dart tip. It's right on the crease of the fold. Kind of set in my dart. And stitch. And then this is how we'll do all of our darts. And again, at the dart tip, about a half inch away or so, I'm gonna shrink my stitches down and just stitch right off at the dart tip. Keep stitching for about an inch. And then don't forget to sh uh, lengthen your stitches again once you've done that. And there we go. Okay, so there's my other dart So, All right, and we'll just keep repeating that until we've sewn all the darts in the front of our skirt. All right, so there are all the darts now sewn in the front of the skirt. You can see it right there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do our back skirt darts. So let's put the front of the skirt away for a moment and grab out your backs. And now we'll sew these darts as well, okay?
Okay, let's go back to the cutting table. All right, we're back at the cutting table. We're ready to start sewing our side seams. We need to press these darts, but we'll do that um, once we press, once the side seams are sewn, okay? So I'm laying down my front skirt, okay? And I'm laying down right side up. So this is the right side of my skirt facing up, and you can see the body balance lines. That tells us it's the right side. And we're gonna sew our side seams now. Let me grab the right one. Okay, so here's one side seam, here's my other side seam, all right? Here's one of my back uh, panels for, my, for the back skirt, okay? Here's center back of that skirt, and here's the side seam. What we're gonna do to sew these seams is we're gonna put right sides together at the side seams, okay? So here's the side seam of my back, here's the side seam of my front. We're gonna take that and line those up right sides together, okay? So again, this is the right side of my fabric, this is the right side of my fabric. You can see they're touching. On the outside, I have the wrong side of my back, and here's the wrong side of the front of the skirt, okay? I'm lining these up at the side seam. I'm gonna line up my hip notch first, and I'll just put a pin in there. And then I'm gonna come up to the waist, and I'm gonna line up my waist, lining up the cut edge of my side seams. And I'll put a pin in there. And then I'm gonna come down to my hem. I sh you should have a notch where your hem allowance is. I'll line up my cut edge in those notches. I'll put a pin in there. And this is a very simple uh, seam to sew. You probably don't, you might not even need any pins at all but just so you can see how to do it. I'm gonna pin in between my hip notch and my hem notch, and then I'll do the same thing on the hip curve. I'll just put a pin in between the two of those. Like so, all right? So now I've pinned together this back skirt panel to this right skirt panel. So, sorry, I've pinned together my this back skirt panel to this front skirt panel at side seam, okay? Now I can go to the machine and I can just stitch this at a half inch, back tacking at the beginning and end, and I'll have that side seam sewn, okay? While we're here, we're gonna go ahead and pin the other side seam too. There we go. All right, now we can go to the machine and sew these two side seams together. All right, we're back at the machine. Let's go and sew, let's go ahead and sew these side seams together. I'm starting at the waist of my skirt, and I'm just gonna stitch down at a half inch down this uh, side seam, okay? Back tack beginning and end, because this is a permanent stitch. And you'll use your regular construction stitch. And here we go. Remember not to sew over your pins. So it's pretty straight. You have a little curvature up by the waist over the hip, but that's it. So it shouldn't cause you really any issues. And back tack at the end. There we go. All right, so I've now stitched this first side seam. All right, let's go ahead and do the other one. There's our other, our second side seam sewn. All right, so let's go ahead back to the cutting table and we're going to press all our side seams open and we're gonna press our darts as well. All right, we're back here and we're gonna do some pressing. I'm gonna start by pressing my darts. Now it doesn't really matter which order you press things in. You can press your darts and then your seams or your seams and your darts or press them all at the same time, okay? So I'm starting here. This is the back of my skirt, okay? Remember with darts, we always press the seam allowance of the dart towards the center. So if this, the darts are in the back of the skirt, then we press towards center back. And if the darts are in the front of the skirt, we press towards center front, 
Okay. I like to use a sleeve board when pressing my darts. I want to take my dart tip and put it right here on the edge of my sleeve board. I find this gives me a nice good press. I'm pressing that dart. Make sure you're pulling the fabric on the opposite sides of that seam in two different directions. You want a nice clean tight seam there. There's two back darts. Side seam will come back and do. First, I'm going to do my other darts. I'm at my front darts now. These are going to press towards center front now. It's towards me at the moment. Here's center front. There's my notch indicating it. So I'm on the other side of center front now. So these darts are going to press away from me towards center front. And coming past our next side seam, we're back to our back, other back panel. And these are going to press towards center back. There we go. Okay, now we can stick. Uh, now we can press our side seams. All right, from hip line. Here's my hip line notch right here. So from the hip line down to the hem, that's a straight seam. And then from the hip line notch up to our waist, we have a curved seam. Okay, so the straight seam we can just press flat. Just open that up, and again. The fabric on both sides of that seam allowance pull in opposite directions as you press to give you a nice, clean, tight seam. And I'm getting to my hip line notch. I'll stop pressing there. And because I have curvature up from the hip line to the waist, I'm going to use my pressing hand. Okay. And that way I can press this curved seam over a curve, giving me a nicer press instead of trying to press a curved seam on a flat surface which will not give me as nice of a press. I'm going to press it right over a curved surface. That matches the curve of the seam. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and move to the other side seam and do the same thing. All right, so now the whole thing has been pressed. You can see here center back. My darts, the seam allowance of the darts is pressed towards center back. Here's my side seam. Here's the front panel. These darts, here's center front. These darts are pressed towards center front. And then my next side seam, and then here's center back here. And these darts have been pressed towards center back. And then this is what it looks like in the front so far. Okay. All right, there's one more thing I want to stay stitch on this. And that's the hem of this, all right? Again, I'm not gonna stay stitch the hem because I'm worried about it stretching or anything. The reason I'm gonna stay stitch the hem is because I wanna be able to press it up and have a nice, clean, even press all the way across from center back through center front to center back. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we're back at the machine. I'm gonna stay stitch the hem of this from center back all the way through center front to the other side, to the other center back. Let's go ahead and do that. And again, this is just to mark that hem so that we can press it up nice and clean, okay? When you get to your side seam here, make sure when you stitch over it that you're not pressing, that that presser foot doesn't push your seam allowance over like this. You wanna keep it nice and flat, okay? All right, so we've now stay stitched the whole hem. Let's go to the iron and press that up. OK, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and press up our hem. Again, that stay stitching gives us a nice edge and marks exactly where we need to press it up. And let's do that. All right, and our skirt is pretty much done for now. We're gonna leave center back, we're gonna leave center back open for now. because it'll be easier to stitch the bodice onto this with center back open. And once we've stitched the bodice on, then we can stitch up our center back. And again, center back's only gonna be open from the hip line, or um, closed, stitched closed from the hem line, the hip line down to the hem. Alright, so there's the hem. It's been pressed up all the way from center back all the way to center back. Okay, so let's go ahead. Hold that shut. There's the back of the skirt. And I'll flip this around. And there's the front. Okay. Nice and clean and ready to go. All right, so now that the skirt is all sewn together, we're gonna put this aside and do the bodice. All right, and you can find a link below um, that will take you to where we construct the bodice.